Good morning anglers, welcome back to another video from Baker Charters. Uh, today I wanted to just show you how I do some rock fishing. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see clearly that I spend a lot of time out here with my passengers catching toads. And I just wanted to show you how I do that exactly. I know there's a lot of different uh, ways to catch fish in any different spot, um, but I have kind of dialed into one particular method and it's been very successful. So uh, my goal is just to try to help you guys catch more fish. Maybe you've already got your bottom fishing game dialed in just the way you want. Cool. Um, if you've got questions, comments to help me catch more fish, I'm all ears. So far, this is the best way that I've found. So uh, let's get right to it. I have here a seven foot Graf Tech 20 to 30 pound rod. And then on it, I have a pen surf master with 50 pound braid. And then it goes down to a 25 pound top shot, which is about twice the length of the rod. Uh, not really giving me too much stretch. I just like to have plenty of room for abrasion resistance on the rocks and things that are down there. And then on the end of that, I have a six ounce P-Line laser minnow. The one and only, ladies and gentlemen, this is the lure that does it all. So, what we are going to try and accomplish is present this bait in such a fashion that it flutters in front of fish on the bottom. So I will show you how to correctly demonstrate this bait and then let's see if we can catch one and show you how effective and simple it is out here in La Jolla. All right guys, so I'm gonna try to illustrate here with my hand how you want to present this because this is what's going to separate failure from success. It's very important that this minnow is allowed to free fall and so that it will flutter as you can see me demonstrating here. You will want it to be weightless, it will flutter down on its side, and it will glance light in all directions as it does so and that will entan uh, entice the fish to bite. So basically it's just really important that you don't do this um, which is what exactly will happen if you don't allow it to free fall. So it's important that you bring it up, allow it to free fall, and it will flutter all by itself. It seems very simple, but it actually took me a, quite a bit of practice to get it right. Let me see if I can show you in the water here really quick. It's kind of hard to illustrate here, but you'll be able to tell once I get it right, that was wrong. That's correct, right there. You can see when I bring it up and then I allow it to free fall, it will flutter aggressively on its side. And you wanna be able to repeat that motion over and over and over. And it's the consistency that takes practice, as you can see there. So just make sure you bring it up, watch the end of your rod tip let it flutter down and that's pretty much it. Just like that. All right, uh, I moved, wasn't getting bit. So I moved about like 50 feet. That's how uh, precise rock fishing is. You gotta be right on top of them. Okay, drop number two. Almost there. Got that thumb on the spool for finesse. Oh, on the drop guys, you saw it right there, right there. Holy shit, oh man. I just got destroyed. I just got destroyed. But my lure is toast. It was not a snag, I can guarantee you that. I've been doing this enough, I know. Wow. Why? Did I only bring a four ounce? Oh, this is terrible. Can't believe it. Sorry you guys had to witness that, me losing a lure like that. I mean, I will put it in the video because I want people to see that. Even though we go out and target rockfish, you never know what you're gonna get. And I can guarantee you that was not a rockfish. I have a very strong feeling that was a deep water yellowtail. Have caught those out here before, not unheard of. Um, I tied on another laser minnow because I just lost one to a big fish, and away we go, drop number three. Yeah, it's a mackerel. Oh, good size one. Let's 
just got hit by something on the way up. Uh, might be a bonito. It's either a bonito or a big mackerel. It is a bonito. What the fuck? Oh. Wow, did you guys see that? That was a big bone. I'm going back down. He'll eat that again. All right, we finally got hit. Finally got a decent hit. Feels like it stuck. Yep, he's shaking. Feels like a decent fish, finally. Get him off the bottom. Oh. Reaction bites, baby. It feels so good. Oh, I tell you, telling you guys. So worth it. Come out here, bounce one of these things around. Feel that reaction bite. There's really nothing else like it. Even on small, I mean, obviously talking to, in relation to a lot of the big offshore fishing that's going on right now. This is the next best thing. Jigging around in a grab bag. You've kind of got some targets in mind, but you really don't know what you're gonna get. That looks like a red rock fish, ladies and gentlemen. That right there is how we fish a P-line laser minnow. Getting them nice reds, guys. There she is once more, guys. Really nice red rockfish. Getting that on the P-line laser minnow. You know, it took me, I mean, I, for me, that's a slow start, but honestly, I've only been out here for about an hour. And on a half day trip with me, we usually catch a good amount of these. So again, the water is amazing. It is flat calm out here, and it has been for the last few weeks and is for the foreseeable future. Uh, if you guys aren't out here fishing, you're missing a great opportunity. This is super fun, getting these reaction bites, having a blast. Get out here on the boat with Baker Charters. Let's go get some. Oh, guys, thanks again so much for watching. Had a little bit of a slow start there. Lost a freaking big mystery fish. Don't know what it was. Uh, had a lost a bonito that you saw along the way, which is again an, gr another great demonstration of the laser minnow It just catches everything <laughs> in anywhere in the water column doesn't matter where you put it if there's a fish there It's probably gonna bite it um, But we did get our main target finally that we came out here for Showed you how that we were gonna catch some reds and we got us our nice red didn't take us too long 30 45 minutes or so I'm gonna go ahead and uh clean that bad boy up and make some tacos for tonight. Um, we're we're going to go run offshore tomorrow, maybe get into some more fun stuff, but uh, really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, any constructive criticism on how to make these videos better is greatly accepted and appreciated. Uh, so I'm still somewhat new uh, doing the video stuff, so if there's anything else you want to see, let me know in the comments below. If you want to get on the boat, message me directly on Instagram. We'll set up a trip. Other than that, guys, catch you next time. Gonna clean this thing up and go make some dinner.